my, my wonderful wife is going to be our, our showcase kind of how we get her outside. Um, that that's the harness. I'm going to throw that on. Throw it on. Very definitely not on. yeah exactly we're definitely not throwing anything on because everything is kind of making her sore or skittish you know even um the noises we've got kind of everything in the house kind of quiet for for today at least for today but she definitely seems more alert like you can see her her head her ears her eyes she's definitely not as sedated today than she was uh, in the last couple days. So that's positive. Um, we got her kind of on the, not the, not the minimum pain med, but um, not as high as yesterday. Do you wanna show her stitches when I pick her up? Sure. So they're not stitches, they're actually Sorry, st staples. staples yeah. um, and- Oh, you can actually come around the side, Kyle, and see right now. Okay, I'll see. Oh yeah. It's on one of her legs. And kind of get a get a bit of a view there. Good girl, it's all right. Yeah, she's a girl. She doesn't like to show her wounds, but she's tough. Yep. Right, buddy. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm right here. <laughs> oh yeah! Don't forget about the six-year-old. Watch for bed. Okay, ready? So we found that like lifting the harness first, and then sliding. The other one underneath is really helpful. Just kind of getting it in position and letting her get back down and get comfortable for a second. As comfortable as she can be, obviously. You just got to kind of keep in mind that she doesn't really have any strength in the back legs yeah. at this point. So all of that is going to be held if with the sling. If she weighed more than what she weighed, you would be the one doing <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay, so we're going to get her up and we're going to get her outside. You want to go out, Kate? Okay. Ready? So you kind of grab her by the um, sling at the same time as supporting underneath her chest is what we were sort of told. And one, two, three. All right. can see that Sarah will have the back end very much so braced so and then what you what Sarah's gonna start to do is she's gonna start to lessen the support to, to get Cassa to put a little more weight on her back legs but as you can see she's got weight on her right leg right back leg and that's the one that wasn't as bad but um, she doesn't have any weight on her left leg right now you can kind of see You want to try to walk? Come here. Can you do a little walk? I've been noticing that she kind of just sits still for a minute. Almost like she needs to gather the, the strength. courage and the strength to, to, to take a step. And also the meds, right? So the meds yeah. are making her docile and bringing her anxiety levels down. Because of that, it might take her a little more to muster up the strength to, which is one of the reasons why the, um, the pain management regimen is very they want it to be as low as possible so that she's not um like she is able to to do so, some walk they want her to walk just you know in her in her own time and i mean this is you've got to remember this is only three days post post-op so um she's still everything's still very sore and tender so anyway this is the walk it's about 110 degrees right now, so we are cooking. Good girl. And uh, we'll give you another update in a bit. 